So, uh, what do we got here? We have Gulch with their album Impenetrable, Impenetrable Cerebral Fortress. That is deep as fuck. This is a a metalcore. I'm putting a question mark on that metalcore band. Well, let's be careful with that. Now, that's it's the proper meaning of metalcore. Not it, to be confused with what people think metalcore. It's a complicated thing. Like metalcore, that's actually a mixture of metal and hardcore. Yeah, I don't want to get into the whole thing about it right that's now. That's not crossover. Yeah. Okay. It's a bad word, but... But you're right, though. Let's take a look at these boys. Dun, 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 dun. There they are. Bunch of regular looking guys. Hardcore guys, you yeah, know. Hardcore guys, like the old days. They are from Santa Cruz, California. Uh, that is where? It is near San Francisco. Oh, 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 it's in the Bay. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of, it's like south, I believe. South Bay. And they've been around since 2016. They were formed by members of Spinebreaker and Drain. I don't know that. Not familiar, but. It's true. It's true. And this is their debut album on Closed Casket Activities. Closed Casket Activities. Is that the name of one of their albums? Yeah. That's the name of the label. Is, is that one of their albums, though? No. Oh. Let's, uh... Do do. Okay. Yeah. All right. You're right. Yeah. Let's look at the album. Dun, 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 album. Now, this, um... Oh, no, we don't want to talk about that yet, right? Just okay. bring it. Just bring it up. All right. Now we will discuss the uh, this release on a series of uninformative uh, measures. They're, they're not uninformative <laughs> at all. They're <laughs> to be determined. Please comment what you think about this. Yeah, see, this any, is all new. Any categories maybe you want to add to our, our ratings? Uh, um, our ratings device, uh, please. All right. Be polite so, about it. As I said before, metalcore? Question mark. I'm not even sure what metalcore is. Nobody is anymore. We have to do a study on that what that is so is this a true to four metalcore band or are they doing something different we are judging they're doing we're, something a little bit different we're, we're gonna get heat over that metalcore comment if whoever's paying attention <laughs> yeah but that's fine we'll discuss so, that what i would call this throwing out that term for now is hardcore yeah. with some like death metal elements some like chunks of death metal in there and just like yeah you know some tremolo guitars sometimes real death metal riffs the breakdowns are very death metal to me. Death metal intervals. Yeah. Like stuff that would never be in hardcore yes. back in the day. Like, and if it's, tread, if it's hardcore treading the line with metal, unlike crossover, it's not with thrash, it's with death metal. Yeah. Is that what metalcore is? I don't know. No, I don't know. Like. There could be deathcore. I don't know. I don't know. This new stuff. I, we have to study this stuff. If you know about it, if you know the proper definition, comment down below. <laughs> Help and us. And I found the last song on this album, Sin in My Heart. I found it a little moody, yeah, a little that, more that, melodic. Th yeah, that kind of br brings it down a bit when they get to the last yeah, I almost found a little emo. Yeah. Like a little well, screamo. Yeah. Little elements there. Maybe they were influenced by that. And for a hardcore album, I found this to be kind of like dynamic. It's got some softer moments or more like queer moments and then like the more like intense hardcore rah-rah moments. So... Yeah, I would say they've got they've got their own kind of proprietary uh, kind of hardcore going on here. Mm -hmm. Very cool, very interesting. Yeah, they're they're in that. You know, can I just say they're there's just kind of a new genre of hardcore, of a new hardcore, and they're all kind of doing this. They're all kind of incorporating a death and um, black into their, which is a new thing, which is a new route of of hardcore music. They're they're embracing their their death metal roots. And, and black metal roots it's you know more than punk rock more, more than metal in general you know more than thrash as they used to you know it's a good thing it's different all right next uh next measure here okay so um yeah they're, they're uh okay so this um our first measure is uh sonic terror versus distorted pop what does that mean Sonic Terror is obviously something hard to listen to. Distorted Pop is something like, oh, that's kind of pleasant. It's heavy, but it's pleasant. You know, you know, you know what I mean by that. So, um, so it's got like the low tune guitars, very low tune guitars, very hard hitting drum groove. I like the way those drums hit. Like, boom, they're very groovy. It's got a groove to it. You know, I like it. It's like, oh, oh, it's, oh, right. And um, the songs are kind of catchy to me. Um, despite they're very aggressive, they're, they're the thing is catchy. I like it. You know. Yes, but, but the guitars are very discord, discordant, dissonant. Mm -hmm. The vocals is largely anger, anguish shrieking, yeah, I would right. say. Mm -hmm. You know, no, hardcore no, grunting. No singing. No clear singing on this. That's a good thing. Uh, <laughs> this whole album, it seems like the uh, mental lyrical theme says mental unhealth, and you will feel unhealthy listening to this. So. I, I didn't feel unhealthy. <laughs> I liked it. I mean, I liked it. I, I, I grew around. up with stuff like this, so I'm like, ah, this is cool. I'm not saying I didn't like it. 
but it's not supposed to make you feel comfortable. It's not easy listening. That's why we're putting it very firmly in the sonic <laughs> terror. There's uh, worse <laughs> in my experience. But, yeah. There's always worse, but yes. it's very firmly in the sonic terror. Uh, yeah. And when I say it's worse, it doesn't mean you guys are bad in any way. If you guys are listening, comment down below. And you guys are great. We think you're great, by the way. Yeah. All right. Um, production levels on this thing. Um, it's pretty decent. It's not too lo-fi at all. You can hear shit. You hear what's going yeah. on. It's not as lo-fi as it should be. Yeah. Um, the mixing, I mean, it can, it should be more lo-fi, you think? Yeah, stuff like this, you kind of expect it to be these days. But no, it's not. It's not, yeah. I think it could have been a little cleaner. I but like how it's, it fits. Just like a, like a smidge yeah. cleaner. But I like, like what it is. But I like a little upset. I, I think they were going for this chaotic, very uh, yeah. messy feel. But so The studio guys just knew what they were doing. Or, you know, they weren't. It, is, uh, it is tasteful. It is, uh, yeah. It's not an extreme production at, any, at, any, at either end. It's just right. Moving on. That's right. Um, all right. So can't play versus too many notes. You know, you know that basically that means complexity versus just you know chaos. Um, there's not much into their playing. I mean, you know, it, it, it's you know it, it's it's you know it's it's expected of hardcore grind kind of stuff. Um, and when the guy does play solo, it's kind of just like blah, 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 blah. he's kind of like throwing his fingers all over the guitar, not in like the way Matt Pike does it and makes it sound cool. Like Matt Pike, you'll see him just go up to things. So this is a standard death metal kind yeah. of. A he's not solo. using technique though. For me, for me um, as a guitarist, he's just going kind of going. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. He's not like putting any effort into it, you know. And that's fine. It works. It works. It's kind of. Well, it's kind these of guys are fine. It is what it is. It's not uh, especially demanding yeah. or technical um, music. They're doing it well. They're tight. They mm -hmm. sound good. The rhythms are uh, all there. Like you said before, the final track almost starts like a normal song. <laughs> Except for what happened here, it's like a normal song. It starts like a, like a normal song. You know, so they yeah. know how to play. Like they know how to play. It's just they're just doing the extreme thing, which is fine, which is cool. You know, but you know, a new kind of extreme. Not like you know, there's different kinds of extreme things. You know, and uh, you know, like that kind of music you hear on WSU all the time. Like that kind of extreme is just kind of dumb. But this is just like all right, a thing I like. Moving on. This is a fun album. I um, mean, I mentioned before, themes are kind of dark. Is it uh, fun? Lyrical themes are definitely kind of dark. How fun is it? Is it fun, 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 <laughs> fun, fun? I mean, it's more like you're like, shit, life sucks, but I'm going to get into this, you know, circle pit. Can I play it on <laughs> Friday, Friday? What do you? No, get shut get up right now. Friday. Oh, my God. Fun. Why are you doing that? Stop. <laughs> um, you know, there's like, <laughs> I can't remember what song it's on, but there's like this like fun little like marching band drum thing and they do for a second. <laughs> like these guys are having fun, but they're also feeling a lot of pain. Like, isn't that what hardcore is? Uh, I, well, some people take it really seriously. Okay. Yeah. There is very serious. Especially hardcore. around here, right? They, they take it seriously around here. Um, I know. I, I know the scene. And I mean, these, maybe they do take it seriously. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds fun to me. I think it's fun. They look fun I mean, times. No, we saw their live thing with their they're all skins, and they look like they're having fun. You, you think know? so? Yeah, that that film, that video we saw of them playing live on the stage, they, they were smiling and stuff. They weren't like, Bleh! you know, like they looked like they were like, you know, hey, everyone, we're having a good time here, you know. And they weren't the headlining band. They 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 had this like pit going, even though it was look how the crowd was kind of sparse. There was a lot of people kind of hanging back, but there were some people really getting into it, right? That's fun. That's always fun. Well, yes, it's very fun. Yeah. So this album is 15 minutes long. How can you not have fun? I love it. <laughs> I love when people have 15 minute albums, like like the last band we did. Um, Entry. Entry. 15, Another these, hardcore band. These, 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 uh, these hardcore bands keep it coming. Keep it short. You guys are doing it. That's why you guys are cool because you know this is a fucking hour long record. And, and yet we were respected on the level of an LP. Yeah. Yeah. It's, what's the difference? Who cares? Yeah, it's all you guys need. You just will, this is more than effective. You got the message across in 15 minutes. That is a talent in its own. Yes. You got it done. You guys don't need an hour. You guys hmm. don't need an hour. You got it done quicker and more efficiently, and it was more cost effective. All right, lastly. And is it hipster or boomer? You know, um, this new hardcore grind sound um, featuring the new the, the kind of black and death metal myth is, um, I don't think it's for the old people. I don't, it's a young man's game. This thing, like I know the old man hardcore scene. Okay, do I not know the heart? Do I know? You don't think they'd like this? I don't think so. I think if I started break, breaking out riffs like this, I don't think you guys would like. <laughs> I want to. 
But you know, I'm just trying. Yeah, she just you know, and I I don't know. I'd like to freak him out. You know, but this in in the shows we used to play, the other bands are not doing this, and they're young bands. Like some of them, some well, maybe it's a West Coast thing. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Maybe it is. Um, but I agree. This is definitely a a young scene. They're definitely coming out of a scene here. It's a new cool thing. Switched on. It's not for you old. They're people. switched on. It's not for you old people. It's not for you. They've got their finger on the pulse, so that's why they're they're being judged as hipsters again. This is not a good or bad thing. <laughs> no, nothing. None of these things. They're either like on either side of a scale on on, on the litmus paper, but um, acid or base. But um, they're they're not bad. So we're never. You know, we're we're doing this for the love of our hearts. If we have you on here, that means we listen to you, and we're like, this is good. We have cataloged you. Yeah. We have given you a numerical code, mm-hmm. and we will assign you a spirit animal within the week. And now for more unfunny jokes. <laughs> and let's just take a moment to look at this album art. Okay, uh, yeah, we will do an interpretive study of the album. Now, I thought this was a Gacy when I saw it. it doesn't it look if you've seen like the Acid Bath. I'm not cover. terribly familiar with. Uh, just, you know, look at you know, look at look at the Acid Bath cover. It, I thought it was a Gacy. It is not a Gacy. It is a Boone Naka. Boone who Naka is, I believe, a tattoo artist. This is like more. This is like not as dark as Gacy. I guess it's weird, but it's not. It's as, pretty dark. It is dark, but like Gacy stuff is like really fun. We appeared to have a demon demonoid looking. Female, um, it's pouring blood pouring into blood. a fountain that its head spews blood into another fountain. It's siphoning out into another fountain, with a guy drowning in blood with spikes around it, so he can't get out. And his these disembodied faces here, uh, they're not skulls, but they're like disembodied faces. Maybe they're drained of blood. And yet there's like a nice flowers. flower lay. There's a lay. This is very beautiful. I do like this. Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice thing. I would like to hang up in somewhere and in this house. I would say it uh, does capture a lot of the anxiety on the album. Mm-hmm. So good job. I like very it. nice. I like your artwork. Very beautiful. I like it. Okay, what do we got next? 